Welcome to another Shout Out Monday Evening, and today's acronym is SOMEONE. Shout Out Monday Evening, Opportunity Never Ends. And this one is going to complement the video that I did on the power supply the other day. Now, because what do you need for that power supply? You need accessories to hook up to that power supply. And this channel is developing his own. So let's see who I'm talking about here. I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And we talked about a power supply the other day, and the gentleman that I'm going to talk about today is developing his own accessories. He's using Arduino, he's using JMRI, he has even had his own boards made in China. If you've been following YouTube model builders, you know they've been doing a series on Arduino. Now, Arduino is a small microprocessor. I mean, it comes like this, and they even have the mini Arduinos. And there's a lot of different microprocessors out there that you can do a lot with them on your model railroad if you know how. And this gentleman that I'm going to talk to you about today knows how to do it. Now, he has a about 40 some videos on there and they're all real short he just uh, whenever he finds something new that he has he puts out like maybe a, a two to three minute video just showing you what it is but he's making excellent progress in using Arduino and other items to control his model railroad if you like what you see here and want to take the extra step to support us become a patron visit our patreon page and pledge your support you will receive extra content and other perks thank you for your support now let's go over to the computer and see who we're talking about well don't we all wish that we were experts with arduino i'm going to have to watch YouTube model builders a little bit more to find out more about Arduino. I've been working with Arduino for maybe two to three years since I first discovered it. I think I read an article back on uh, Model Railroader magazine or Railroad Model Craftsman magazine about somebody using, using it for lighting. And that's what got me interested in it. But uh, the person I'm talking about today uses Arduino extensively and you could tell by his logo. He uses the Arduino logo on there and his channel banner is a circuit board for Arduino. So anyway, let's go over here. Now as you could see, he's got a lot of very short videos and when he finds something, he just posts the video on his findings. He doesn't really go into a lot of detail about what he does. He just, you know, when he has some results, he j he'll just post it on there. And it goes from maybe, well, let me see, he's got a 48 second one up to 2 minutes and 55 seconds. So that 2 minutes and 55 seconds looks like about the longest one he has on there that I could see right now but anyway he does he's doing a lot of projects on there and you could learn a lot by watching what he does I mean you he's not showing you the details of how he's going about doing it he's showing you the end results but still you could see what you can do with Arduino and JR Mori trying to link the two of them together because I know uh, a lot of people would like to do that. Arduino is a powerful microprocessor. It has a lot of inputs. It has a lot of outputs that you could use on there. And Bob McCowan is uh, using it to his fullest capability on here. And I'm just going to pull up his last one here. Remote Node Custom Shield. All right. Now this is something that he, this is a circuit board that he had made. So he had uh, quite a few of them made but anyway he had these made in china for a project that he's working on and uh, let me fast forward over here 
a little bit. I always still see the same thing. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, now here's uh, what he was working on. And uh, there's a couple other videos before this one where you could see the project that he uh, was working on. And you could see up on here, here's a circuit board that is made specifically to sit on top of the Arduino board for projects. This is something that he was playing around with and he had this circuit board made so he could have it put up on top of the Arduino board instead of having this board right here. This is a, a, uh, a project board that you could stack up on top of an Arduino board. Go ahead, check him out, subscribe to him. Check out all the videos he has. I think he has about 42 videos. You could learn from what he is doing on there. Even if you don't understand what he's doing, it'll get you thinking about what can you do with all the little electronic components that are available today that don't cost that much. Like the Arduino and the Mini Arduino and the Raspberry Pi and everything else that's out there. So anyway, check him out and subscribe to him. So let's go back to the, the train room where I could finish this thing up. Alright, so Bob and Colin has some pretty interesting stuff on his channel. So go ahead and check him out. And while you're at it, subscribe to him and hit his little bell icon up there so you could be notified whenever he puts a new video out there. He's got a lot of projects going on and he's developing some good stuff for his railroad. I got to watch a little bit more of the YouTube Model Builder series to get a little bit more familiar with it. I, I got a little bit away from uh, working with the Arduino. But anyway, if you would like to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it ding that bell and that'll notify you whenever I have a new video coming out and also leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about everything else I have a Q&A coming out later on this week it's five things that Debbie asked me I talked about it earlier and I showed you on the notepad. It's on here someplace uh, on one of these pages. I even made a new page for her. So anyway, we'll see you and don't forget uh, if I don't ask if I don't answer your questions right away on Wednesday, that's because my daughter's here with the granddaughters and we're out doing something. We're either at the pool, we're at the beach or we're having a good dinner someplace and it'll probably be a couple of days before I get to answer it when I have some spare time. So anyway... Welcome to another Shout Out Monday evening. And this... Act, and welcome to another Shout Out Act...